Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic review. Uh, today we'll be looking at the Jurassic World Battle Damage Plesiosaurus from the Dino Rivals lineup. And this figure is spectacular. I love the color, just the mold, everything about it is beautiful. And the fact that they implemented another marine reptile into the lineup is fantastic. So, Plesiosaurus lived in the Jurassic period, which is a very nice Jurassic Park. Jurassic period. So we got another Jurassic critter to add to the lineup. Um, its neck is poseable, can go up and down. Its head has full rotation and it's on a ball joint so it can also, well not a ball joint but you know it's got, see that little plastic hinge there? It can go up and down and rotate around. The pattern on the back is actually different from the swimming version. You can see this one's got stripes, and this one's got a more blotchy pattern. It kind of looks more natural compared to this one with a solid, harder shape to it. And the fins are uh, fully posable. They're, they can go up and down, so it can stand kind of like this. And you can pose it in different swimming positions, which is nice. The tail is uh, fixated to the body, you can't move that. It is rubbery though, similar to the fins. Unlike on this uh, version where the tail is movable, kind of like a beaver's tail, it's pretty flat. And the battle damage feature here, you press on the side and it's this kind of ovalish shape. Now I'm sure there's metal components inside of this. So if you do want to play with it in the water, it might lose the fluidness of this battle damage piece. I'm not actually sure what would happen if you did that. Um, I haven't tested it out myself, but possibly in the future because I have two of these guys. One for uh, photography and this one's my shelf model. So overall this figure is beautiful. Its size is pretty accurate to... Um, actual plesiosaur, so you can see just how big it is compared to a figure around the size of the raptor figures and then it's really tiny compared to the mosasaurus it can fit inside the mouth like so and what's neat about this figure is I never really think about it but it can go well with the submarine playset because it comes with like the grabber arms that can hold on to its neck and uh, I think Mattel should really go with more marine reptiles to go with this kind of aquatic theme line because they have the Mosasaurus and the submarine. It would be cool to invest in making um, maybe scuba diver figures and like ichthyosaurs, and maybe even prehistoric fish because Mattel has done um, Demetrodon, creatures from the Permian, and pterosaurs, so it wouldn't be far off. And plus, in a lot of their games, they have prehistoric marine creatures that aren't just reptilian. So overall, this figure is very beautiful. The color is magnificent. So are the teeth and inside of the jaw. They kind of spread out like a fish trap, and it's got a nice, very wide and characteristic look to it. Uh, the jaw can open and close. This figure is a little stiff, and it kind of has this little detail where it's got that kind of chin esophagus thing going down. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh, I'll be posting more Dino Rivals stuff as I get around to it and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!